Hi, this is Emily with Mashable, and I'm here with the new Google Maps on a Chromebook Pixel. Um, if you look at the Google Maps um, interface, it's completely different than what it is now. Um, in the top left corner here, you have a search box. So you can search for a particular like restaurant or location you're looking to go to, looking for a type of place. So like if I wanted to look for coffee places, those will start to show up. Um, and if I complete that search, then they show up as little dots on the map itself. Um, you can click into one of them and it pulls up. So this is Sight Glass. Um, it's going to pull up a little um, information card on it with the time. So it's open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. today. Um, I can save that for later if I maybe don't want to go today, maybe want to go later on. Um, there's a URL if I want to go check out their website, see what their menu looks like. Um, there are also Zagat reviews in the, um, in the info cards now. So I can see Max Davis, who uh, with this account, I don't know him, but um, so he has six places in common with whoever's account this is. So if um, you know, we obviously like the same things, me and Max Davis. I'll probably like the sight glass. Um, when you go into directions, like let's say I wanted to go from the Moscone Center where we are now, maps immediately will pull up the best route for me to get there. So it thinks I should walk down 4th Street and take a bus and then walk the rest of the way. Um, you can also click through for other um, options on the ways to go. Um, you can um, pick the best route. If I don't want, like, let's say there were two or three buses in here, I can also pick a fewer transfers route. Um, or if maybe I just really don't want to walk today, you can pick a route with less walking. Fortunately, these are pretty close to each other, so unless I want to take a couple buses, it looks like I'm going to have to walk uh, three blocks there. You may be able to make it. Um, Another thing that Google's done with Maps is brought in Google Earth. So you can look at a 3D satellite view of, of, the, um, of the area. You can click down here, all of these pictures, and take a look at other places around. So this is Howard Street. I'm going to do a little street view. Um, for things that have multiple pictures, you can do a photo tour. So like this is the Cable Car Museum. And it's kind of a little trip through pictures. Um, the pictures come from Picasa and Google Plus and there are public photos that people have uploaded. Um, a lot of times they're of the same things. Sometimes like where these cable cars are you might see a few other different things as well. Um, there's a picture from IO this, uh, from the keynote this morning. Um, you can also zoom out on all of this and go look at a closer larger view like of California the United States. Um, the further you go out, you can also start seeing the clouds. The clouds are all done in real time, so you could see a weather system coming in. Um, if you keep going further, you can get a planetary view. And something really cool about this is that you can also turn the Earth. So over here is where the sun is down, so you can see like a little night view. Um, pretty cool. That's the new map.